This is a video about how to calculate the chi-score of independence in SPSS. In this example, we use the variable sex, gender, and SES, socioeconomic status, and we would like to know if there is a relationship between gender and socioeconomic status. In order for that, we create a cross tab, and then we have pressed the chi-score. So we're going to descriptive the statistics, cross tabs, and then we click in here gender, and over here the socioeconomic status in the column. Doesn't really matter which one goes first. Plus, we ask for the statistics. You have to come here and check the chi-square. We hit continue, and we hit OK. And then we see here in the syntax, it created a cross tab with the table sex by SES, and it got the chi-square. The first overview here gives you the case process, right? We see N, the, the sample size is 167. Those are the valid cases. Missing is zero, and total is 167. Then we get our cross tab. This is, note here, a count. So those are the actual values how we find them in our data. We have gender girls and boys, code is one and two. You see total girls is 93, total boys is 74, which gives us 167 total, and then socioeconomic status, low, medium, high, and we have 62 low, 48 medium, 57 high. Now note, for example, here we have 31 girls in low status and 31 boys in low status. Now, considering that we have more girls overall, 93 than boys, 74, you would expect that in low status, we also have more uh, girls than boys. This is not the case. <clears throat> so, uh, with the chi-square, we're actually calculating this. We're calculating the difference between what we expect and what we observe. When we did this for all the cells, we got a chi-square of 1.31. This is our uh, measure for the amount of difference between what we observed right here and what we expected. Then you get the degrees of freedom of 2. Recall that the degrees of freedom is the levels of variable 1 minus 1 times the level of variable 2 minus 1. So here will be 3 minus 1 is 2, times 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. That's where these degrees of freedom are coming from. And then we get the significance, the p-value of 0.519. This would tell us that a chi-square of 1.3 with a degrees of freedom of 2 is statistically not significant, right? because it's way higher than 0.05. It's way bigger than 0.05. So from the context, we would say that there is no difference between what we observed and what we expected. So we would conclude that the variables are independent of each other. There's no dependence. So it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. <laughs> Uh, the, the distribution in socioeconomic status does not vary significantly across the genders.